sample is a medical mnemonic to help you remember the clinical presentation of Horner syndrome, which is a collection of signs and symptoms that arise due to disruption of the sympathetic nerves that innervate the head and neck regions. Remember, the signs and symptoms occur on the same side as the injury. They are ipsilateral. S is to remind you that it is a sympathetic chain injury. A is for anhydrosis, meaning a lack of sweating in that area. M stands for meiosis, meaning that the pupil is constricted. This makes sense because there is a disruption of the sympathetic innervation, and sympathetic signaling usually leads to pupil dilation, which is called midriasis. I remember this by thinking midriasis has a D in it, reminding me of dilation. Next, we have P, ruptosis, which is a drooping of the eyelid. L is for the loss of the ciliospinal reflex, where the ipsilateral pupil will dilate when pain is experienced on that side of the face or neck. For example, experiencing pain on the right side of the neck should lead to pupil dilation on the right side, which won't happen when the patient has Horner's syndrome. You can test this out yourself with a mirror and by rubbing the back side of your neck and watching for a response. Finally, we have E for inophthalmos, which is a posterior displacement of the eyeball. Basically, it sinks back further into the head. However, studies have shown that this isn't actually present in human Horner's syndrome. It's just an illusion due to the ptosis.